Uh, next we've got uh, Napier Mike Casagrande, uh, which I did not know him until this afternoon or this evening. Uh, you didn't know Casagrande, as far as I knew, was just a line in an airplane movie. <laughs> Anybody else got that? Just me. <laughs> nice. I do improv. I do not do stand up. Nice. Mike just got back from a West Coast tour uh, doing comedy. Nice to come to Alton on the West Coast. Uh, big round of applause for Mike Casagrande. No, no, I was doing porn. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming out. Clap your hands and all that. I didn't know that we were uh, having a comedy show at the Excalibur. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna steal a quilt on the way out. I could use a new blanket. I got my eye on the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> now I just got back to Alaska. I miss home. I've uh, been down to uh, Washington, Oregon, California, Colorado, running around telling jokes to strangers. It's great. You know, uh, Spokane was a lot of fun. I didn't really know. I was in, did a bunch of shows there. Uh, didn't know a lot about Spokane other than what I'd seen on Cops. <laughs> I know a lot about Spokane and Albuquerque, New Mexico because of cops. <laughs> they are on there a lot. Alaska State Troopers eat your heart out. That's, um, Spokane was a lot of fun. It's like this weird town. It's like a combination of like college kids and tweakers. <laughs> so you just hate everybody. And the smugness of college children and the creepiness of scabbering meth addicts. Somewhere you find comedy in the middle. <laughs> um, holy crap. My friend just showed up. Um, I liked it a lot though. I, I was outside one of the shows there and uh, I thought I was going to be mugged by a shirtless man on the way to the show. Like, just in every episode of Cops. And instead, like, a shirtless man just offered to smoke a bowl with me. <laughs> But he didn't have a pipe that wasn't a crack pipe. So we like, so he couldn't. And then he asked me for directions. And he, I was like, well, why am I blending in? Like, I'm not fucking from here. Like, you look like you live nearby. Or at least whatever closest bridge there is to here. And <laughs> he's like, I live in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Holy crap, that's a long walk back. <laughs> if you leave now, you might still be high when you get there. <laughs> it's very friendly, though. I was in Oregon. Well, I, first I went down to Humboldt County, California. Woo! For all you stoner kids out there. Just a bunch of, like, fat guys with beards that smoke weed all day. I wouldn't recommend hiking in Humboldt Cal County, California. Was you like getting shot? You know, this is like just the land of Bigfoot and illegal marijuana farms. But uh, it was a lot of fun doing shows down there. We went to this bar in Garberville, California, and uh, <laughs> it, you, if you brought in a handful of dreadlocks, they called it a hippie scalp, you, <laughs> you could drink for free the rest of the night. This is one of the more conservative towns in <laughs> Northern California. If you wouldn't scalp a hippie, you could have fireball all night. <laughs> That's good. Hopefully you stole his weed, too. <laughs> Oregon is a lot of fun. Hipsters, you guys got to stop, though. It's, they're nice people. There's plenty of mustaches and plaid in this world already, though. You guys, <laughs> I was arguing with my friend Mary the other day, and she's like, I called her a hipster. She's like, I'm not a hipster. And I'm like, you're wearing rubber boots with holes in them. Because they look cute. Like, you're a hipster. I'm not a hipster. How many bicycles do you own, Mary? I own seven bicycles. <laughs> Are the other six for parts? No, you're a hipster. Like, calm down. It's okay. You just know what cool is before it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> Was that stupid? <laughs> Why did the hipster burn his mouth? Because he drank his coffee before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, fucking idiots. <laughs> They're so douchey. 
I, they seem nice, but like, you just want to beat them up all the time because they're so douchey. But they're so weak that you can't beat them up because it's just going to make their girlfriend like them more. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that guy beat you up. Here, let me take you home. And like, give me a blowjob so it's all better. And then I lose. Sorry, there's a child in here. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't told this was supposed to be clean or anything, so. <laughs> like weed, though. Like, makes TV a lot more fun. Like, I had a lot of fun in the States talking about Alaska a lot, you know, like, telling them that Sarah Palin's not real, and like, don't believe everything you see on TV, because those guys live two miles from the fucking road, and like, shit is not real. Just calm down. They, they're, they're getting paid. <laughs> the, there are too many Alaska reality TV shows. Just stop. Like, how, how, I mean, I'll quit kicking this dead horse when it quits spitting out money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I like the commercials. The commercials are the best. I like the commercial. The Free Affordable Health Care Act was started on April 1st. 2014. The worst April Fool's joke ever. <laughs> Fuck up your taxes or whatever. I like the one the magic grass though. You spray the magic grass on your gravel pit and you have a lawn in the next two days. But if you put weed in that shit, <laughs> and then you put it on your neighbor's lawn. <laughs> you're like, if you're not sharing, dude, I'm calling you in. <laughs> I like the reality shows though. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, Naked and Afraid. Yes! Yeah! This is great. I love this show. I want to be on this show. Just scared to death. Yes. You're just naked on an island for a month. It's like a month. You're there for 30 days with nothing, like not even close. 21 days. I know I've watched at least three episodes of this show. I should know that by now, but. My favorite episode, I think it's a chick from Oregon and like an army ranger, and he like severely sunburns his balls on the first day. <laughs> and the like, of course the Oregon hippie chick's all over this. She's dancing around in the woods, weaving hats and baskets, like collecting plants to make salve for his terrible balls, and like, <laughs> women kill men at this shit. I was like, the guy saw you such a badass. He's like, so bad. He goes, Don't worry, I know a remedy for that. <laughs> With her fucking made up hat. <laughs> this is good. I like that naked dating. That one's good too. That'd be weird. You go on three dates naked, like just. There you go. There you go. Damn, I knew I should have shaved. <laughs> Next time. Maybe I'll win the Tournament of Champions and get to come back to the show. I just want to make sure I have like a severe outbreak before it's salsa dancing night, you know, like, trying to get close. No, I don't have anything. I just imagine I do for certain situations. It'd be funny then. It'd be funny later. <laughs> Genital stuff wouldn't be good. <laughs> it's gonna be back in Alaska though. I'm glad we don't have uh, gambling. Gambling's a thing everywhere else. <laughs> Not you can't have it here because there be old ladies frozen in their chairs, <laughs> clutching cans of cat food, looking dead in their homes. Sure, the severe the sheer property damage alone would be enough for the banks to be like, nah, no gambling. Like people wouldn't pay their bills. You can't live without heat in Alaska. Your house will die. You <laughs> in it. Your cats, your plants, fucking the pipes. The, the toilet will freeze solid. In Oregon, you could live without heat. It'd be fine. Everybody lives there with no money. It's great. <laughs> I guess the best part about Alaska is that everybody has money. You're never hanging out with your fucking broke friend at the bar, like, ever up here. Like, everybody's got some. You can't live here. You lose your job, you lose your girlfriend, your house, your fucking car. Everything the same week, and you move back to California. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy to be home. And I think what all these comedians do, everybody that 
supports a scene and uh, including all of yourselves uh, clap your hands for yourselves because this is such a unique thing that everybody gets to have and I'm gonna end on a somber note thanks a lot you guys I'm Mike Casagranda